Hello everyone, we're evidencing in the arena of AI model battling. Today, we have Z Image Turbo, just like we saw earlier with language models, where one model releases, and then another, better performing, smaller size model, comes out right after. Remember at the beginning of this year when there was that big news about DeepSeek? It was like a huge slap in the face to some big tech companies. You saw it everywhere in the news, and their stock prices even dropped because of it. Well, now we're seeing something similar, but for image generation. This one's coming from Alibaba Group, specifically a subsidiary team called Tongyi. They just launched the Z Image AI generation model. Z Image, it kind of looks like a smaller version of the Quen Image model, but it's laser focused on photorealistic image generation. This model was trained with 6 billion parameters, and you only need about 16 gigabytes of VRAM to run it. Plus, it generates an image in roughly one second. Compare that to what we saw in previous videos with Flux 2. Remember how crazy that was? We had to download almost 100 gigabytes just to generate a single image. If we use the full weight of the model, that felt like using a rocket to hit an ant. But here, we've got something reasonable, something actually practical for local image generation. It's already available on Hugging Face and Modelscope. Personally, I like checking out the demos on Modelscope because they've really opened up the information. You get to see real demos showing how the model performs, plus a ton of other useful details right there on the page. I'm not trying to promote any specific site, but for me, Modelscope just has a more user-friendly interface. So, as you can see, all these images are based on photorealism. And one cool feature is that you can use both English and Chinese text inside the image itself something the big brother, Quen Image, also handles really well in terms of prompt adherence and on-image text rendering. But here's the kicker. Z Image's performance even beats the Quen Image 20 billion parameter model. Overall, its benchmark score sits just below top-tier closed-source models like ByteDance's Seed Image Dream 4, Google's Image Gen 4, and Gemini 2.5. But honestly, it's not far behind, just a little bit lower in total score. So we're going to check out how to run this locally in Comfy UI. Right now, Comfy UI supports the Hugging Face repo, which splits the model into separate files, the Diffusion model, the Text Encoder, and the VAE for Z Image Turbo. By the way, Z Image actually has three separate models, as you can see in the chart. Z Image Turbo for fast image creation, Z Image Base, the standard release, Z Image Edit for image editing tasks. It's similar to the Quen Image series, but way more lightweight, and it can run on surprisingly low GPU VRAM. Even the size BF16 version only needs about 12 gigabytes. So, I don't think you'll need to go through all that hassle of quantizing it down to Q4 or Q2 just to squeeze it onto your consumer PC. Unlike what we saw with Flux 2, where people were complaining about the massive file size, even GGUF versions were struggling on regular hardware. But Z Image gives you the same core features, image generation with a powerful text encoder. And speaking of text encoder, it's using QN3, a 4 billion parameter language model. Now, the VAE part is interesting. It's actually the same VAE used in Flux 1. So, if you've already downloaded Flux 1 and have that VAE file, you don't need to download it again. It's literally the same one. Before you start playing with any new model, always update your Comfy UI first. My usual practice is to do a git pull to grab the latest version. You'll know it's working when you see Python code indicating support for Z Images text encoder. Once that's confirmed, you're good to go. In my setup, I use a virtual environment, so I activate that and then launch Comfy UI with Python. Now, in the Comfy UI interface, you'll see a very simple, basic workflow, nothing fancy. No custom samplers or complicated node connections needed. It's just like Quen Image. You connect a K sampler to your positive and negative prompts, feed it an empty latent image, you've got text to image generation. I tested it with a JSON structured prompt, like the one I showed in my last video about Flux 2, where I used a structured format for the text encoder to guide image creation. And guess what? The exact same approach works with Z Image. 
I think this structured prompting isn't really about the diffusion model itself, it's all about the text encoder. Since Quen3 is smart enough to recognize JSON format, it understands exactly what you're asking for. Styles, camera angles, lighting, you name it. It's just like using Quen3 Max, it's sharp enough to parse all that structure and turn it into a coherent image. So, I reused the same prompt from my Flux2 test about a fashion designer standing on the street in a blue jacket. Remember how it came out a little plasticky before? With Z image, it looks way more photorealistic. I've now restructured that prompt into plain text, but still in a clear point form style that includes all the key details like color codes. And yes, those color codes actually work in ZImage, thanks again to the Quen3 text encoder, the 4B version. Next, I tested the identical twins holding a camera prompt, same one I used with Flux2. Since we're focused on photorealism, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Luckily, I haven't deleted the Flux2 model yet, so I can run both at once. I've set up two identical workflows, one for Flux2 and one for ZImage, and removed any reference latent stuff since we're doing pure text-to-image. This is an apples-to-apples -apples test. Same base models, same prompts. I've even fixed the seed numbers so the outputs are directly comparable. One note, Zed Image Turbo only needs eight sampling steps. That's part of why it's turbo. Flux 2, on the other hand, is still running at 20 steps because it's the full, heavy-duty version. So we'll let it cook and see how these two stacks up. Alibaba's team versus Black Forest Labs Flux model. Z image generated first. Look at this. We've got two distinct characters, not the same person at all. It's way more realistic. You can actually tell they're individuals. Now let's see what Flux 2 gives us. All right, finally done. Now, comparing the two. From Z image, natural textures, clear distinction between the two people. From Flux 2, also good, but slightly less refined in facial separation. What do you think? Next up, a luxury car with specific color codes and pattern requests. Both models handle the prompt pretty well. After all, their text encoders are similar in size and capability. But sometimes, Quen just seems to understand instructions a little better. For example, we asked for a greenish tint in a specific area. Flux 2? Last time, it slapped the color code right onto the windshield, which looked kind of awkward. But Z Image Turbo? It put the color exactly where we asked, on the brake disc, and added the logo and subtle details without going overboard or oversaturating anything. Clean. Precise. Another test, a chef cooking pancakes. Both results are close, but look closely at the hand holding the pan in Flux 2. It's a little twisted, blurry, almost like they're frying something sideways. Whereas Z image shows a natural wrist angle, exactly how you'd flip a pancake in real life. Again, I'll leave it to you. Which one feels more photorealistic? And timing-wise, that image. Turbo, 1 second. Flux 2, 13 seconds. But remember, Flux 2 isn't using any turbo LoRa's or low-step optimizations here. It's just running 20 steps straight up. All right, next test, prompt adherence with on-image text. This time I used Z image turbo. Last time it was Flux 2. The prompt asked for a clean labeled mug on a wooden desk, a phone showing a social media feed with both English and Japanese text. Zed Image nailed it. The phone screen legitimately looks like a social app with readable English and Japanese characters. Flux 2 also got the phone right. Japanese like text mixed with English UI labels. I'll give it a pass there. But the mug? Empty. No coffee. Z Image Turbo included the coffee exactly as requested. This really gives me that deep seek moment again, like another big slap to the tech giants. Speaking of which, if you've got time, check out Alpha Arena. They're running live AI trading simulations with models like DeepSeek, GPT, and Quen3. DeepSeek's been the most profitable so far, though Quen3 leads sometimes. Now GPT5 is catching up to Gemini 3 after the latest model releases. But back to image models. Next, I reused the product display in three environments, prompt from my Flux 2 test, but now with Z Image Turbo. We've got a perfume bottle with a golden text Benji AI label. 
Both models rendered the text correctly, but look at the middle shot on marble. Zed Image Turbo added realistic shadows under the bottle, matching how light would actually interact with glass and surface. Flux 2? The bottle just floats there, no shadow, no depth. And worse, the scale is off. In one shot, the perfume bottle is as tall as a tree. Zed Image Turbo keeps proportions realistic. The bottle takes up about 40% of the frame, just like a close-up product shot should. Even across three different backgrounds, it maintains consistent lighting, transparency, and shadow color that matches each environment. That level of detail? Seriously impressive for a small model. So I think that's enough testing. You've seen the speed, the quality, the prompt adherence, and the realism. Now it's up to you. Which model fits your workflow? If you're running local AI for image generation, Zimage Turbo is a seriously practical choice. One small note. Since it's trained by Alibaba's team, some character generations lean slightly toward Asian features. For me, that's actually great. I target e-commerce in Asian markets, so it's perfect. But if your content needs Western-style characters, you might want to train Alora to adjust the look. Maybe sooner they will have the trainer code. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!